Senator McCain, I want to stay with you and switch topics if we can before we run out of time. As a former POW, uh, we want to get your response to this release of portions of these CIA memos on torture. We just heard from General Michael Hayden a few minutes ago saying, in no uncertain terms, this puts our country in danger. Your thoughts? Well, uh, as you know, I, uh, it was my legislation, the Detainee Treatment Act, that prohibited torture. We said we had to abide by the Geneva Conventions for treatments of enemy combatants, and I said, wish that we had done that. But release of these memos, it helps no one, doesn't help America's image, does not help us address the issue, uh, and uh, I think it was a, a serious mistake to release these memos. There's, but there's a, also a Justice Department memo that's said to be out today saying that, you know, a couple of these names that unfortunately are so familiar to us, Abu Zabeda and Khalid Sheikh Mohammed, that Zabeda was waterboarded 83 times, Khalid Sheikh Mohammed, the confessed mastermind of 9 11, 183 times. Too much? It's unacceptable. It's unacceptable. One, one is, is too much. Waterboarding is torture, period. And uh, I, I, I can assure you. That once enough physical pain is inflicted on someone, they will tell that interrogator whatever they think they want to hear. And most importantly, it serves as a great propaganda tool for those who recruit people to fight against us. And I've seen concrete examples of that talking to former high ranking Al Qaeda individuals in Iraq. Uh, one last question for you, Senator McCain, on this same topic. Uh, the New York Times uh, reported over the weekend that their sources were telling them that they really got nothing new, particularly from Zabeda when he was waterboarded after he was. General Hayden was clear about yeah. saying from his sources he was told that is not true, that indeed they did get valuable information. Well, according to uh, the FBI, uh, they did not. According to the CIA, they did. And all due respect, uh, my view is that whether they did or not, the image of the United States of America throughout the world is a recruiting tool for uh, Islamic extremists. And I got that from a former high-ranking Al-Qaeda person in Iraq in a prison. Senators John McCain and Joe Lieberman uh, joining us from Arizona today. Thanks to both of you for your time.